Guys, let's talk about market cap with choosing different cryptos and why I like more high risk, smaller market cap cryptocurrencies. Of course, these are higher risk. And we'll talk about the big market cap, the Bitcoins, the Ethereums, even the XRPs, which is my actually was actually my largest holding right now with all crypto coins. And I'm gonna tell you why that is also, even though we're trading at less than 61 cents right now, which is kind of alarming. So the market is pulling back actually as I'm making this video. So probably not the best time to make a video, but I wanna keep it real, keep it 100% with you all. Of course, it's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do believe right now is the accumulation time if you're into cryptocurrencies. In this video, we're gonna be going over the top 20 cryptocurrencies and which ones I would be choosing if I was just looking at the overall crypto market and just choosing the first top 20, right? Because there's a lot of cryptos. So as we go down this list, you can see we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, BNB, XRP. These are the market caps, so almost 800 billion for Bitcoin, 261 billion for Ethereum, Tether 90 billion, XRP 32 billion, which I think is undervalued. I think XRP will be worth a lot more in our future. Solano, um, you got Cardano, AVAX, Dogecoin, another one that I'm feeling good about right now, Triant 91, uh, TRX, Polkadot, Matic, Polygon actually used to be in Polygon. Uh, I was buying in 30 cent range a couple years ago. Link, TLN, not sure what that is. SHIB, big community around SHIB, DAI, LTC, BCH, Atom, and then Unify. So what would I choose? Well, I'll keep it very simple for you. And this is probably the best advice anyone can give you on YouTube that's not a financial advisor. This would be the best advice if you wanna get into cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum will be your safest bet, okay? So if you wanna get some returns, 10X returns, don't know, don't think so. But if you wanna double your money, I think Bitcoin and Ethereum is a good place to put your money. Why do I say that? Well, they've been around for a long time. They've stayed in the number one and number two position for years now. They have the largest market cap, which means it's gonna be the safest. As we get closer to number 20, those become higher risk, right? So again, if you're just looking for a quick double, which I believe easily could happen in this next bull run, Bitcoin, Ethereum is a safe bet, just be my own opinion, okay? Now, where I would have most of my money is in XRP, okay? It's in the middle, it's like number four, number five right now. Market cap has a lot of room to grow, I think. It had a bunch of SEC drama that they resolved. They actually won the case. So that's a positive for Ripple and XRP. I do think XRP plays a crucial role in the crypto space. If crypto is here to stay, I think XRP is definitely going to be one of the top 10 coins. You know, a lot of these coins are meme coins. They're not going to be here in the long run. But I think XRP is a safe bet to put my money if I were to invest in a cryptocurrency, right? Because it has to, XRP and Ripple have to deal have to deal with sending money, right? Cross-border payments. It's really fast, it's really cheap. It's actually one of the cheapest and fastest out of all cryptos out there. So that's you know the use case for XRP, why I like it. Um, I also like how it moves on the charts. So I trade XRP. If you guys wanna learn more about how I'm trading in and out of certain cryptos, you can join the links out down below, join my Patreon and uh, go to the bronze tier. It's $10 a month, but my goal is to turn $10,000 into a hundred to $200,000 in the next 18 months. And I feel very confident that that's gonna happen. So XRP is definitely my main choice, I would say in the top 20 that I would choose, right? If I had to take another guess at what I would choose, I would probably choose Dogecoin, okay? Couple reasons why. And I know these, these are cryptos that people are probably like, well, XRP community is too big. Dogecoin is a meme coin. Well, Dogecoin is another use case possibility, especially with Elon Musk and X, which used to be known as Twitter. So I would have a little bit of Dogecoin as well if I was just looking at the top 20 coins out there. Okay, Shiba Inu. I don't know if I said that right. Big community also. Actually used to be in it, but... I just don't think their market cap is gonna grow from where it's at right now. Right now it's at 5 billion. It could grow and I think definitely money will flow into most of these cryptos as people start to talk about it. I mean, you go, I, I even looked at myself, like I actually stepped away from crypto for a while this last year um, and then I started making money in my portfolio. 
So other people are probably starting to make a little bit of money. Also, we're having a little pullback right now. It's all mental game though, right? So you look around, no one's really talking about crypto. Okay, so we're back in that space again like we were back in the day. So again, I think a lot of money is gonna flow into cryptocurrency, especially in 2024, but you wanna make sure that you're choosing the right cryptocurrencies. Those would be my two choices, XRP and Dogecoin. Dogecoin is currently number 10 and XRP is number five. Uh, based off market cap, okay? So XRP is at 32 billion, Dogecoin is at 13 billion right now. And again, Dogecoin's price at nine cents, XRP's price at 60 cents, almost 61 cents. So I'm not concerned about these two cryptocurrencies. Let's talk about some high risk ones. So the reason I like AGIX, it's an AI crypto. I'm not gonna get into too much details about what they do in this video. It's trading at 29 cents, almost 30 cents, let's say, okay? But the reason I like them is their market cap and also their total supply and max supply, okay? So we'll talk about circulating supply. Um, and this is like really with dilution. So this tells you when they're going, you know, how many coins are they gonna be releasing into the market? You can see right here, the market cap is just above 300 million. So I just showed you XRP and Dogecoin, which was 32 billion and 13 billion. So those could only go so high, right? But when money comes into cryptos like this under 500 million market cap, they can move very fast, but also they're the most risky, right? So that's why in the, in the video today I said, if I were looking at maybe just doubling my money in a safe way and I didn't really wanna get in too much into crypto because I'm still nervous about it, I would look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay? I think it's an easy double in the next 12 months. Just be my own opinion, of course. You gotta do your own research. But if you wanna get into more maybe like 10X, 5X minimum, I think Dogecoin XRP is a safe bet. But this is the coin that I think has 10X potential at least. So that means I believe this can go to $2.90 at least, being at 29 cents right now. You see the circulating supply right here is 1.2 billion. Okay, the total supply is 1.3 billion, so not too bad. And you can see that the max supply, yeah, max supply is 2 billion, okay? So important things that you need to understand. Low market cap, very risky, but big gains if it does end up hitting. And again, I'm trading in and out of AGIX. I also have another crypto that I'm in, a couple actually that I'm trading in and out of. XRP obviously being my, my main, I think that's like 70% of my total portfolio. So obviously with these lower market cap, I don't have as much money in them because I don't wanna lose any money. I wanna make money. I could care less about making $100,000, $150,000. I may miss a couple cryptos, but if my main, main bag, is a safe bet where I do believe it could, I, I think XRP can at least hit $7. That would be what I would say right now, it being 60 cents, that's at least a 10X from where we're at today. So again, that being majority of my portfolio, that's why I have most of my money in that coin. Guys, don't forget to drop a like if you want more crypto content, let me know. See you on the next one.